Hi everyone, this is Nilesh Todi from MMP Filtration Private Limited. I'm happy to come back again with another video of our machines. The machine that I'm talking about, which on which I'm standing at the moment, is a 10 and 20 machine, which is used for manufacturing the wound polypropylene. Friends, I'm sure that you must have seen our previous videos that we've uploaded for the three spindles or uh, the automatic machines that we have. It's been quite some time that we have not come with a new video uh, with the machine that we have. So this machine, as I mentioned, is a 10 and a 20 inch machine. And I'm gonna show you the operation of this machine. As you can see, the upper spindle over here is of 10 inch. Rather, it has a 20 inch length, but we have installed a 10 inch filter cam on this because this particular filter can be actually made into 20 inch if you want. So this machine on the upper spindle has a versatility to manufacture a 10 inch as well as 20 inch. I'll explain you how do you manufacture a 20 inch later on this particular machine. But for the moment, I'm trying to show you that this machine is capable of manufacturing a 10 inch on the top spindle and 20 inch on the bottom spindle. I'm going to start the machine to show you how exactly this particular machine is going to manufacture a 10 inch and a 20 inch filter cartridge. You simply have to press the green button over here for a 10 inch cartridge production. And you can see that the 10 inch cartridge production has already started. The rest 10 inch is idle and it doesn't have any process going on over here because we have installed a 10 inch cam on this 20 inch machine on the top spindle. Similarly, when you press the green button on the 20 inch spindle, you will see the 20 inch production starting. You can see the whole production of 20 inch length happening over here, while a 10 inch is happening over here. If you want to stop the machine manually, you have to press this particular button, which is a red color button, and the machine will stop. Similarly, for the 20 inch, you can stop the machine over here. But you do not need to stop the machine because you have a sensor-based diameter. When the cartridge achieves the diameter over here, where the sensor is, the machine will automatically stop. Hence, we can keep the pr production of the machine going on. And we will show you when the sensor touches, the machine will stop automatically and the production will not move any further. You will see very soon that the machine is going to stop over here without any touch of the button you can see that the machine is automatically stopped as soon as this roller starts turning there is a sensor over here which stops the machine it's just about to stop and there you see the roller turned and the machine stopped automatically after this you just simply need to pick this up open the filter yarn over here up lift up this lever and pull this cartridge out and you have your cartridge ready. As you know, the machine has two spindles, hence we need two packages and these are the two packages which has been installed for the machine. The yarn passes through these ceramic guides. The more you turn and twist these ceramic guides, the more the tension increases. And the more you release the ceramic guides, the tension on the yarn will become less. After passing through ceramic guides over here, it has to pass through this particular section, which is in between these two steel. And then it passes through the roller and the yarn passes and goes towards the cartridge. This particular section is all designed for the tension to be created on the yarn, for the quantum of strength that you want or the hardness that you want on the filter cartridge. After the yarn passes through the tension device over there, it has to pass through these two guides and then be rolled. The yarn needs to be rolled on this particular cartridge. And then you simply need to press the green button over here and the cartridge production starts again. It again is going to stop once it reaches the diameter, which is by reaching on this particular sensor or whenever you want, you can stop this by pressing the red button over here. This being a mechanical machine has gears. So there are four gears which needs to be changed for setting up a micron. There are four gears, which is one, two, three, and four over here. Now respective micron needs specific gears. These gears have to be manually changed so that the pattern which is required can be achieved on the filter cartridge. This being the induction motor, 
which is driving all the gears over here as well as the cam is very important and this particular induction motor is only of zero kilowatt. This is a very special unique facility because this is a single phase motor and does not need any three phase connection hence anywhere this machine can be operated. Similar to this particular spindle arrangement, we have another arrangement which is for the bottom spindle. Again, the same section of four sets of gears needs to be changed for any micron setting over here, along with the same size of induction motor. Although the induction motor is of same capacity, but it can run a 20 inch as well as a 10 inch, uh, 10 inch machine with the same capacity of the motor. As you can see, this particular PCB, the switch has been dropped and uh, the machine is off. And now if you want to switch it on, simply put this up and you will see the machine comes back to power. Further, we have given another facility. You can see there are two switches over here. One is for the top spindle, one is for the bottom spindle. So if you're running only one spindle, you need to switch on this one if you're running the top spindle or this one if you're running the bottom spindle. Obviously, if you run both the spindles, then keep both the switches on. Uh, the beauty of this VFD drive is that you, the, the speed is variable. You can increase the speed and decrease the speed. Certain patterns uh, require a lower speed, otherwise there's a lot of vibration on the machine. So we recommend you not to go above 40 uh, on this particular panel uh, for any micron pattern. But if there is any specific micron in which you see there's a lot of vibration, we recommend you that you come down as low as 30 so that you can safeguard the cam on the machine. The machine can might as well go as high as 50, but we do not recommend you to run on 50 because that's going to be affecting your cam life on which uh, there is going to be a lot of maintenance down the line. The 20 inch machine cannot uh, be without a jumbo filter cartridge. A jumbo filter cartridge is one of the most popular filters in the industry. And this machine is capable of manufacturing not only four and a half inch diameter, but it can also manufacture as high as six inch diameter, which is also taking up quite a bit in the market. You will see after achieving the diameter, the machine stops automatically, which it just did after it touched the sensor over here. The machine has already manufactured a four and a half inch diameter over here, and the cartridge is fully ready for being sold in the market without any problems. Apart from this machine, which is of 10 inch and 20 inch configuration, we have the other machines, which is like 20 inch and 20 inch, one of the most popular machines, because the 20 inch, as we spoke just earlier, is very popular because of the jumbo filter cartridge. I'm gonna show you the jumbo filter cartridge machine, which is having more spindles, which is two spindles. Obviously over here also, you can manufacture the spindles to be 20 and 20 inch, as I spoke earlier. Uh, I'm going to show you a 30 and 40 inch machine as well. So we will see the 20, 20 and a 30, 40 machines. This is our 20, 20 machine, which is two spindle machine, which is having 20 inch production on both the machines. What we have done, we have done the setting of uh, different micron on both the spindles. The top spindle has a 10 micron and the bottom spindle has a one micron. I'm going to show you the production of both the spindles. Again, it's a very simple production. We simply need to press the green button over here and it's going to start. And similarly, you got to press the green button over here and it's going to start. The machine has all the same internal configuration as far as the mechanical and the electrical configuration is concerned as compared to the 10 and 20 inch machines, which I just showed you a while back. Now I'm going to take you to another machine which is going to be of a 30 inch and a 40 inch machine. This is a 30 and 40 inch machine. Actually this is a 40 and 40 inch configuration machine. The cam box over here is a 40 inch on which we have installed a 30 inch uh, cam by which we can do the production of 30 inch. Over here on the bottom section we have a 40 inch cam box and a 40 inch cam by which we manufacture the 40 inch length production uh, for filter cartridge. The machine is very simple again. We just need to push the button over here, which is the green button and the production starts. 
Similarly, you push the green button over here on the second one for the 40 inch and the production starts. You can see the pattern on both these spindles are different. On the 30 inch we have manufactured a 1 micron pattern and on the 40 inch we have manufactured a 10 micron pattern. So the patterns can change by the change of gear as we have done in the 10 inch machine and we have also showed you on the 20 inch machine. Similarly, the configuration on this machine is the same on the electrical as well as the mechanical side. There's no difference to the other two machines that I've explained. It takes an immense pride for me to show you another machine which is having a configuration of a 50 and 50 inch. This is a mechanical machine and the length can be for 50 inch production. Normally it is very difficult for companies to manufacture a 40 inch machine even. The machine which is capable of manufacturing a 50 inch length itself shows the capability of our company. It's not only the 50 inch I will also introduce to our machine which is of 70 inch very soon. I've already mentioned and shown you the internals which is the electrical side of the 40 40 inch machine and the 50 inch is also more or less I would say exactly the same as for the 40 40 inch. The start of the machine is very simple you simply press the green button again over here and the production starts. Similarly for the lower section you just press the green button and the production starts. If you want to stop the machine, press the red button or else when you achieve the diameter, the sensor, when it revolves by itself, will stop the machine. I'm going to stop and show you both the patterns are different on the spindles. You can see the spindle on the top has a certain pattern which is of 1 micron and on this is a little different which is of 5 micron. All I can say is that in uh, the wound filter cartridge manufacturing machine, this machine is a piece of art happening to be 70 inch in length is not a very easy machine to be manufactured. Our company has been capable to manufacture a length of 70 inch cartridge production machine which is a price to itself. We, we applaud our team to manufacture this beautiful length which is very difficult otherwise. I will show you the production of this machine by pushing the green button and see how smoothly this machine runs now. You will see the machine traverse moves at a certain speed once it starts. You can see a lot of vibration. This is because there is a little slag on the bottom. To stop that slag, we are given a support over here. This vibration will stop after a certain quantity of layer which has been achieved. The machine is going to stop as soon as it touches the sensor over here. The cartridge outer diameter is about to reach its maximum outer dimension. There you are, it stops automatically. The cartridge has reached its final diameter. It was a pleasure to show you all the five mechanical machines that we are producing. This being the last one which is the 70 inch filter. I hope you all have enjoyed viewing all the machines that is manufactured by our company. We are proud to be an Indian company manufacturing these machines in India under a Make in India program. Thank you for watching once again and uh, if you want to know more about our machines, please visit our website www.mmpfilter.com. Thank you.